so now let's uh, create our widget here so for that we need to go in the bottom chart field so let's go in the bottom chart field all right here in the bottom chart field we just need to wrap this first of all let's wrap this container with the consumer widget okay because here in the bottom chart field we need to know what is the happening in this inside the chart provider so that we display the required things here okay so let's put the case in front here and then wrap this with a widget so here we are going to use a consumer widget which comes from the provider package so consumer here our consumer is going to be watching the chat provider and then the chat provider like that and then let's create a builder so this builder it will be exactly just like that suggestion there let's click tab so this child and then the value so this value let's maybe name it as a chat provider for our reference okay a chat provider okay and then here now that's when we are going to retain what is below here so let's do it like that and then uh, we can retain now instead of this container we are going to retain a column okay let's retain a column so this column now will have children and then uh, these now inside the children here that's when we are going to put this container let's cut all of this from here let's cut it and then put it as a child here all right and then we can remove uh, this child who is that we can what's going on here let's minimize that okay we can remove this child and then now we can close that column like that so the first child is going to be the container but now let's have uh, the first uh, this let's have the first child before this container because right now I, I can restart there won't be any problem everything is just works we've just wrapped this container inside the consumer so that we can read watch whatever is happening inside the provider so there was two ways the other way we could have just said context.watch if it's not wrapping inside the consumer we could have also initialized the provider like this final chat provider uh, like that okay we could have used it like this and then every time we are calling the provider to check what is inside this is exactly exactly the same like what we did here calling the consumer and then just reference to this provider so we did not use this method okay but it used to work if we did not wrap everything in the consumer so let's remove that and then here now let's have the so for the first child we need to check if uh, message reply is not now okay because if it is now we want to show that widget here if it is not now we, we want to show it like this okay so i mean if it is now we want to show it like this if somebody has swiped here the user we want to show that message widget here okay so let's uh, do that so here let's have a check so after we retain this consumer here let's initialize our message widget okay so let's say final uh, message reply message reply this will be equals to chat provider dot the message reply model and then let's check if uh, this message reply is there okay so now to check this we're just gonna say again final uh, this is going to be a bull okay the corporate knows let's click tab so is message reply is just gonna check is message reply is not now okay and then down here now we'll just have that check so let's say is is message reply so if is if is message reply okay that is exactly what we will do so let's hit tab and then let me explain so if his message reply is there we are going to show this container which copilot has created and a row with expanded widget which has uh, that message inside and a button to 
this button is to cancel that message reply okay so right now if we hot restart we are going to see this container because we did swipe okay so let's hot restart so we can see there it is all right let's just let it load again and check so if we get inside here right now message reply is now but if we swipe here we can see that we have a message reply and it has come here okay so that's what we want to do but uh, let's customize this a bit not like the way copilot is showing it okay so that's how we want to show it and then once we click here it will go away because we are setting it back to now okay so if we click here it's going to go away if we swipe here you can see it's getting the message what is the that is there and then putting it here then now it's showing us that we are replying to this message all right and once we cancel it it's gone so now let's make this code uh, nicely so what we'll do is uh, instead of showing all of this here let's create a separate class for message reply preview we'll call it that okay so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm going to cut this first let me just copy it and then let's go on the widget and then let's right click here and then new that file let's call message reply preview and on that let's call it like that and then let's hit enter so let's create that class let's create a stateless widget so this will be our message uh, reply preview like that and then let's uh, return even here let's return a consumer widget consumer and then here for the consume for the provider we are going to have our chat provider chat provider and then let's create a builder there so we are going to have a context a context and then we have our chat provider then we are going to have a child all right and then here now let's return that container that we just copied from there and then from here let's change some things here so for the radius what we want is the only top right and top left okay so here instead of saying this we can we can remove this and then say here where it says uh, circular let's say only so here and the only yeah like the way it's saying top left and top right so there's an extra bracket that copilot did here let's see let's put one more or we need to remove uh, this one okay something is missing let's just go back okay so inside here let's put uh, our radius like that let's click tab now it's it's okay so let's put a constant keyword here because we want we want the radius to be on top here down here we want it to be flat okay and then here instead of uh, this uh, maybe also the radius let's change this to let's we're gonna try 12 and then this child here let's wrap it inside the column because what we want is also to display the owner of the message once we swipe here we also want to show on top the name of the person who sent that message okay so here first let's again initialize our final message uh, reply so this is going to be exactly that and then here for this column let's have uh, the first child in an expanded widget because we want to take the whole space so here for the first child first we are going to check here uh, if it's us who send the message okay so let's have a text and then inside the text first we are going to check so okay let's just check the boolean up here final is me okay so is me we are going to check that message reply okay so that's uh, so instead of that in the message reply we have uh, the the variable is me okay we need to just check is me like that 
all right so why are we getting an error here so okay it says that we need to have a now check okay let's put it here then let's remove it from there okay now here let's we need to check if is me we are going to show yeah great just like how copy is saying if it is me we are going to say you if it's someone else we are going to put their name there okay so let's also put some style here a style which comes from google fonts of course we are using google fonts google fonts dot uh, open sans open sans and then uh, here let's put our style so let's just put the okay we can go with what copilot is suggesting here so let's end it like that but uh, we need to wrap this inside the expanded widget with the widget and then let's say expanded because we wanted to take the whole the entire space and then down here we need the next one is uh, is going to be in the actually this is the one which is going to be in a row the one on top here okay so let's wrap we just need to get this icon here let's cut it and then below let's put this uh okay so this is already a row let's put that icon here and then this message now let's remove the expanded widget and then we'll get this message we we'll just put it outside of this so let's cut this and then outside of this row now as a second child for this column so the row ends here we are going to put the text there okay and then we can close that container like that so that's how we are going to put our message and then also maybe after this row we can put a constant of size box size box of height maybe yeah five like that so now we are going to call this message reply preview okay so let's go to the bottom chart field instead of calling this container we're going to call message reply preview and then we can add a constant modifier we don't need to send anything here because everything is happening from here it's pulling the data from the provider okay now let's hot restart again then let's try to swipe okay it's still loading all right it's up let's open it up and then let's try to swipe great so that is going to be our message reply all right so we have that u because it's our message and then if we cancel if we do this one is going to show a person who has sent the text so let's put some padding also all right let's see uh let's go in the message reply preview where is that it's in here so this uh padding let's yeah uh, let's change it so on top here it looks like it's more let's see what can we change here okay so i think we can do even better instead of showing it like this okay so instead of showing it up here we can show it inside this uh color this row here in the bottom chart field all right i think that one will look even better so what we can do is we can go back to the bottom chart field and then you can see that here we are checking it up here and show it but instead of doing that let's wrap to this row with a column okay so let's wrap it with a where is the column and then here for the first child now instead of doing this up here we can cut this and then paste it here and then now we don't need this column we can remove it and then uh, let's close this and try to hot restart so let's just wait for it to load then now we can go inside there and then try it again yeah this looks better but let's fix the 
uh, uh, radius there so let's go inside the this widget with a message reply preview and then this one let's put it the way this is down here as 30 then also here as 30 let's again hot restart yeah that's how we want to do it but let's improve it even more now so uh, this let's try to okay so the way it is it's uh, it's okay now but uh, let's improve it so instead of uh, doing it like this with a column let's put it inside the list tile okay so let's uh, call a list tile here and then yeah you can see copilot is already doing it but we don't want to do like what copilot is suggesting there we don't want an image so all we want is a uh, let's close that out and then let's also put a comma there so here inside here all we want is not not the leading we, we want a title so for the title we are going to put our name this one now we don't need an expanded here let's copy that and put it here and then we we'll also need the subtitle so the subtitle now is going to be the text you can see now copyright predicts and then after the subtitle we want to put this button okay so this is going to be the leading let's copy that and then after the subtitle or not the leading is going to be the trailing now here we can paste that all right now we don't need this column anymore let's remove that and then let's hot restart and see what we are going to have there so let's just wait for it to restart let's click there and then let's check yeah i think this one is better so maybe we don't need the padding also here let's try to remove that hot restart yeah now that is better I think we can live with that if we come here we swipe so the leading is the cancel I mean the trading okay yeah I think this is much better uh, uh, comparing to what we had all right so now we can reply to any message here okay great can see that now it looks better if we do this one this dexter that one is us okay all right i think let's end this video right now in the next one we have to send the message to reply all right and then after that we're gonna have to see that message here to display that message here okay so thank you guys and uh, I'll see you in the next video.